Welcome to BioLegend's scientific poster video series, where we guide you through the newest innovations of our scientists. Today's poster focuses on Tigit and our new antibody clone, A15153G. Tigit stands for T-cell immunoglobulin and ITIM domain receptor. Tigit can be found on T-cells and NK cells. In mice, it's been shown that Tigit is a checkpoint molecule which can shut down immune responses. It's a potential therapeutic target in autoimmunity and cancer. However, human Tigit studies have been harder to establish since reagents have been limited. Here, we describe a new antibody for several immunoassays, our clone A15153G, which we will refer to as A15 in this video. First, we use the new clone to characterize human peripheral blood. As you can see, it primarily stains NK cells, noted as CD56 positive and CD3 negative. It also stains a subpopulation of T cells, which are CD3 positive, but CD56 negative. A higher percentage of CD8 positive T cells expressed Tigit compared to CD4 positive T cells. Tigit could not be observed on myeloid cells or B cells. We also decided to examine whether Tigit was preferentially expressed in naive or memory T cells. CD45RA is a marker of naive T cells, while CD45RO denotes memory T cells. Of the CD4 and Tigit positive T cells, over 70% have a memory phenotype. However, this same trend is not seen in CD8 and Tigit expressing cells. Only half of them had a memory phenotype, while approximately 30% were naive. We looked at cytokine production from CD4 and CD8 T cells as well. We found that Tigit expressing cells had a higher ratio of cells that expressed interferon gamma compared to non-Tigit expressing cells. This is most evident in CD8 T cells. Of non-Tigit expressing CD8 cells, only 6% of these cells express interferon gamma. On the other hand, for Tigit positive cells, a whopping 85% of cells express interferon gamma. We also characterized human regulatory T cells, which can help control and dampen immune responses. A majority of the FOXP3 expressing Tregs in our study also expressed Tigit, and this corresponded to low CD127 expression. We also tested additional applications for clone A15. Specifically, we depleted isolated T cells of any Tigit positive events using our magnetic cell separation system, or MojoSort. Clone A15 was biotinylated and then attached to streptavidin nanobeads and separated out with our magnet. We then studied Tigit upregulation by culturing the T cells over four days with anti CD3 and anti CD28 antibodies. Tigit was upregulated starting on day one and increased by day four. In comparison, PD1, another checkpoint marker, was upregulated in a quicker manner and by a greater percentage of T cells. To test whether clone A15 can antagonize T cell proliferation, we cultured human PBMCs with anti CD3 or anti CD3 plus anti CD28 with and without the Tigit antibody. We then measured cell division and proliferation with CFSE. Upon the addition of clone A15 to the culture, proliferation was severely hindered, as over 80% of the anti-CD3 treated cells failed to undergo a single round of division. With anti-CD28 co-stimulation, proliferation was also diminished, in conclusion, we've shown that our new clone, A15153G, is a valuable tool for a field in need of antibodies for TIGIT research. Our new clone has been validated for a variety of applications, including flow cytometry, cell separation, and depletion. It also successfully inhibited T cell proliferation in response to CD3 stimulation. This versatile tool is available exclusively from BioLegend, and you can find 11 different formats of it on our site. We hope you've enjoyed our video today. 
Stay tuned for more scientific poster videos.